Well, a, a guy who went through some tough uh, stuff before he got into boxing, and I love him. I don't give a shit who he did, how his last fight went, but uh, Anthony Joshua. And mm. I love that interview he did on Sky Sports talking about how he changed the game. And he did because he got cynical old wankers like me to start paying for box up, uh, mm-hmm. for buying pay-per-views and stuff. I fucking love Anthony Joshua. You well, listen to Anthony Joshua has boxed for 10 years. Amateur and professional. For 10 years. He knew nothing about boxing before he was 17, 18. 10 years he's boxed. Look at what he's achieved in such a short space of time. He's achieved things that fighters that have fought all their life haven't achieved. And, and for him to, 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 to get that and to achieve such, such, amass such money, such success, uh, turn the game around and like it or not, and I know a lot of fighters won't like that, the reason why boxing is on the front and the back page of the papers, the reason why boxing is more acceptable and it's in all the gym all over the place, because you've got a big, handsome, tall, good-looking black fella that talks to talk, walks to walk, backs it up. The women love him. The men love him. The mothers love him. The grandmothers don't know nothing about boxing love him. And they think, why don't you like this young man here? He's turned his life around. So that's why our sport is now flying. That's, now, that's why Wembley Arena had 100,000 people in when he boxed Klitschko. That's why he, he can, Wembley Arena can be used as, as big-time boxing here in the UK. Yes, Carl Frost is going to be pissed off that I'm giving the, 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 the nod for Anthony Joshua for that. But what I'm saying to you is, the only fighter right now that in, the, in the UK that I believe could fill Wembley is Anthony Joshua. Mm. That's the only fighter. And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. And, and prove me wrong. Great, prove me wrong. But I'm saying these guys, Anthony Joshua has turned the game on its head. You look at the pay-per-view. You look at the, 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 the endorsement of, 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 of top draw companies. Our sport never attracted your Lucas A. Well, it did once when, when Frank Bruno was coming through. Your Under Armour, all these corporate money companies wanted to now be associated with our sport. Mm. Whereas before they thought boxing's a, a corrupt sport, they didn't want to get involved, and now all of a sudden that's where the door's being made. Well, Carl Frotch is going to hate. Did you mention that he sold out Wembley Stadium because he, he hates me bringing that up? Yeah, he does. I think he only got 80,000 people. I think he's told me that once or twice, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's 80,000. Well, yeah. But actually, I'll tell you, a quick one about Carl Frotch. He's my favourite out of the team, out of the Sky team, because... He he knows he's winding everybody up. He knows exactly what he's doing, you know. And 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 and, and he's a cool guy. He's very he's got a very dry sense of humour, and people don't get it. And uh, he does take the piss. He don't mind people thinking he's a toss spot because he thinks I don't give a shit. Look what I've done. He's my favourite out of the squad. Honestly, he's a, I I would comfortably move with him on a personal level because he's a cool guy. <laughs> 